I really urge all of your viewers to read this op-ed. Um, it is just so absolutely appalling. The self-pity, the self-aggrandizement, the gaslighting, accusing Fox News of talking about his addiction when all you have to do is turn on Fox News. That's weird. It's a Fox News guest claiming that the network never bashed Hunter Biden for his addiction. I think you guys know what's coming. Is this a crackhead making up that his dad's here? If this was an illusion, then that's some crackhead magic. The Bidens were in business with billionaires. You think these are the kind of guys who'd get tricked by a crackhead? One of the sometime residents of the White House is, well, at least a former crackhead. Hunt I'm not interested in a crackhead lying on a gun charge. The DOJ is taking what are extraordinary measures to shield the president and his crackhead son. But they would rather talk about uh, Hunter Biden, the crackhead. Remember, the White House had promised that Hunter's paint-by-numbers portraits of a crackhead. Good Morning America, a crackhead at the time. She was having sex after her husband died with Hunter Biden and up the roll horse at this point. Chinese energy company paid Hunter Biden, a crackhead. They were Biden was a, a crackhead. No one on earth would hire Hunter Biden. That kind of coverage is exactly what Fox News audience expects, making that guest claims even more puzzling. But where Republicans might be losing their fans, is in the evidence and results categories of the Biden investigation. And that's, that's uh, what we call money laundering in the banking business. Ah. But you know, if you want to go to the very beginning, uh, it started when Joe Biden was vice president. Uh, we know that because of the WhatsApp message that the IRS employees disclosed that showed where Hunter Biden said his father was sitting beside him and he was trying to extort or shake down this Chinese national. Five days after that text message, Five million dollars goes into an account. Then they they start the money laundering process. Four hundred thousand goes to Hunter Biden's shell company, and then through a series of, of wire transfers and deposits, it ends up forty thousand dollars in Joe Biden's back pocket. Forty thousand dollars just happens to be ten percent of four hundred thousand dollars. Which, if you go back to the the oh. laptop, Larry, it, 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 this particular deal was the deal. Joe Biden was supposed to be involved in, and he was supposed to have a 10% ownership stake in. James Comer has been landing on as many cable news networks as possible, revealing pieces of information related to the Bidens, along with massive declarations of what else it must mean. And since it hasn't resulted in evidence that ties the president to whatever it is that they're claiming he gave in return, voices like Marjorie Taylor Greene have swooped in to help. This is a very real situation that we're talking about, and our investigation is so important, Steve, um, that this will bring down the president of the United States. And I want to let everyone know something. We're going back to the Treasury Department today at 1 o'clock because we have more financial records that we have to review uh, leading to the Biden family and Joe Biden himself. When elected officials go on TV to tell everyone what's going to happen to their political targets, Instead of what they found that will harm them, people wonder, do they care about this investigation or do they care about getting a leg up electorally? And if they scan some of Marjorie Taylor Greene's posts on X, the answer looks more like politics. From November of last year, we will impeach Biden with proof. It will be easy. I delivered a floor speech explaining why our Republican-led House must move forward with an impeachment inquiry on Joe Biden for corruption and abuse of power. We have the evidence unlike the Democrats with their bogus impeachments of President Trump. It's time to impeach Biden and expunge President Trump's impeachments. We're going to drag Biden and everyone who covered up his crimes through the headlines day after day, month after month, and prove to the country the entire Democrat Party is corrupt and can't be trusted. So no matter which candidate runs for president, if they take Biden out, everyone will know the Democrat Party is filled with liars and traitors. That, combined with Bidenomics, destructive policies, will cause Democrats to lose big. She's not good at hiding her true intentions. But there's a new MAGA sheriff in town in the form of Speaker Mike Johnson. And he's ready to skip over all the BS speculation and head fakes over actually subpoenaing the Bidens the way that Comer keeps doing. Yeah, this is always going to end with the Bidens uh, coming in front of the committee. Uh, we are going to subpoena the family. I mean, we're putting the case together to win in court. Congressman, when are you expecting to subpoena Joe and Hunter Biden? Well, we want to talk to about three or four more associates first. Uh, we've been communicating with a couple of them. Uh, we're trying to bring them in just like we did Devin Archer for a transcribed interview. Uh, if they don't come in voluntarily, then they'll be subpoenaed. So uh, this is taking a, a lot longer. Speaker Johnson is resolute and clear on subpoenas. 
letting everyone know this is not about politics. Are you expecting to subpoena Hunter Biden? Um, I'm, I'm looking at that. I, you know, I think that uh, desperate times call for desperate measures, and that perhaps is, is overdue. We've not made a full decision yet. I'm, I'm uh, counseling with the uh, attorneys involved on all of this to see what the contours are.